Let's game it out as a new video out. So let's get straight into it. In a way, we go. Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. Hey, We're checking out Josh. our path How you today. Doing, buddy? Developers, thank you for a key. This? this looks to be a game about clicking, collecting, and it's all very chill. It's nice to do something oh, relaxing for a Minecraft. change. Hey, speaking of change, you ever think about changing browsers? Perhaps to Opera... I already have. I use Opera GX now and then. Uh, mainly for when I'm doing videos. But this time I'm using Chrome because I forgot to use Opera GX. But I do use Opera GX and I clicked on his link. So make sure you do the same. GX, the browser for gamers and the sponsor of this video. Support Let's talk YouTube, about some neat things Opera GX can I'm do Adams. for you. All of your Chrome extensions and work. You can no, literally just go to the Chrome web store and install them like normal. So you'll never True. be without your most necessary extensions. And also it's easy to import settings from other browsers. Josh, use BTTV or the other one, 7... Whatever it's called. Using Frank Z? Browsers. Just by going over to this thing, down to this thing, clicky click the things you want, click import, and everything's done. And of course, there's the mods, by that, where you can choose from before, a huge but... range of things. That'll switch up your browser's colors, not to mention add live wallpapers, cool. as well as sounds. The sound is awesome, but he's also got it muted. I've noticed he's got it muted because it does get annoying when you're trying to, like, search. Also, the typing's uh, kind of good for the first 10 minutes, and after that, you're kind of like, this is kind of annoying, I'm just going to mute While it. you're typing... <laughs> <laughs> sounds when you're opening tabs. It's annoying. Sounds when you're closing yeah. tabs. You just end up muting all it all. All kinds of stuff. And you can mix and, and match anything on when you, you miss want. It. There's even a Let's Game It Out mod. And who doesn't want this? Hey there, it's Josh. Yeah. And of yeah, course, my annoying. favorite thing in Opera GX, <laughs> which is the GX Corner, which is a great way to keep track of all kinds of gaming news, like release dates, what's on sale, games that are free right now, and all kinds of other gaming tidbits that you can customize to view just the way you want to. And if you download through my link in the description, you'll also get this section. I have this, that's how I know. That'll update every time I put out a new video. Oh, and the browser is free on both PC and mobile. So if this Ooh. sounds good to you, head on down to the linky and get a little Opera GX in your life. And thanks again to them for sponsoring. But enough. Had no, all those uh, features are really cool, but literally none of them are very useless. Like, I, I, I think they're kind of... It's better than having a blank page, but they're not very useless. Of talk. New my, game. My personal opinion. Oh, the game is hitting me with the hard questions immediately. If you don't like clicking things... Did I say useless? They're not very useful. Not very useful. What? It's a lot. You can enable hold click mode now. No, thank you. I'm ready to click. So here we are in the... Game, Wait, don't like, hold click, click mode now. No, thank you. I'm ready to Sorry. If you don't like clicking things a lot, you can enable hold click mode now. Oh. No, thank you. I'm ready to click. So here we are in the so this like my game. Don't rush do me. Click. So here we are in the wild world <laughs> of Outpath, a game with beautiful bright colors and chunky pixels. It's like mm. I'm in a Minecraft YouTuber's thumbnail. Mm. Oh, and look at this, my favorite word on the screen already. Break. Well, the game wants Ooh. us to gather wood and fiber, the cornerstone of every healthy diet. So I believe well, all we have to do is walk up to these trees and hit break. Yep. There we go, and we do a little tree smacking. One click, one smack. Wow, they weren't oh. kidding. That's a lot of clicking. Or we can go into the <laughs> options and change click to automatic. And now when we walk up to stuff, it automatically punches it. Oh boy, what a deal. Uh... I love having to do even less. Although I did notice something, which is if we which compare is? the speed to how fast automatic goes, it looks like if I click fast enough, I can do it faster than the automatic True. one. So if I wanted to be a total tryhard, I could absolutely take that tree down faster manually. And then mm -hmm. I got another bright idea. Why not just use an auto clicker. So we're going to set up a script here where it's going to click the mouse you every monster. one millisecond. In theory, that means it's trying to click a thousand times every second. Doesn't mean the game is going wow. to allow that, but doesn't mean we can't try. Okay, so let's see how fast this goes now. Oh, okay, good. That worked great. Look how much faster that is compared to the other two methods. And the best part is it's running all the time. So as long as I'm oh, looking at stuff no. that it can punch, it's just going to hit stuff at maximum punchability. Wait, that's not good though, no right? manual clicking required. Which is good because it lets us focus right? on other things. It. Like, what the heck is this number? It appears to Three? correspond with this one in the upper left corner. And I don't really know what that number is supposed to mean, but it's basically like your currency. And it appears you get oh. that from punching pretty much everything. So as I run around my little island here, we're just amassing more and more points for all the things well, we're punching. To do what, Actually, so come to think of it, where is here anyway? So far, it yeah. looks like a tiny little island surrounded on all sides by ocean. Let's get a better look. Can I jump in the water? Oh, thank goodness. I wasn't actually oh. sure, so I'm glad that gamble How'd you get paid back off. Up? So as we swim farther away, it is indeed one little blocky island. Wait, can we You're just keep going farther game. and farther <laughs> away? Yes, we're about to find out. The game does have some survival meters, by the way, which is to oh. say tiredness Dude. and hunger. Our guy is naturally yeah. already starving for some reason, which is indicated by our screen getting a little darker and these lovely stomach sounds.
Oh, let's build a workbench now. Structures equal Q. Oh, he's he's literally yeah. He's just breaking games. So hungry. Just let him do his job. Bad. Just let him do his job. Farther away. I mean, I don't know if anything bad happens when you get that hungry. Not like we care that island is turning quickly into a distant memory. Uh oh, what's happening? Oh. Looks like we're falling. He's falling. He's already broken the game. Looks like there's other islands hiding from us down there. Is this what it's like Four to be born? In. So be it. I'm ready for my next adventure. Huh? Huh? Oh, it put us back at our island. Ooh. Well, I guess that'll teach me to try and escape. Let's see, how do I get sure. back up here now? I can't just scale the walls like Spider-Man, can I? Wow, we're really athletic. Let's celebrate by punching more stuff. Wow, they really thought of everything. I didn't even think of that. I just, I, I would have literally just stood there and be like, ah, I got to restart the game, restart oh, the game. In fact, before we do anything else, I'm just gonna keep punching stuff until both of our meters have run all the way out, just so we can see what it does. Okay, so after doing this for a little while, here's my conclusion: not a lot happens. Your guy's tummy oh. keeps groaning, and you remain all sorts of tired, but the meter never goes entirely oh, down. It does okay. look like you're basically fatigued though, because I notice as I mill around, I'm walking a little bit slower, and it's possible uh... I'm hitting things slower. But how am I supposed to tell? And now we have all. <laughs> <laughs> kinds of stuff. 288 wood, a whole bunch of flowers, a whole lot of this, a whole bunch of stone. You get the, the idea. And we folder? also have our food stuff right over here. And here we can eat our delicious oranges that up 42. my food and my tiredness and give me 10% critical chance. You mean like a critical hit on these trees? Works for me. And we also have <laughs> sumptuous berries. Or we have this. Fibers. Gives you nothing but fills <laughs> you up. I'm sure you can guess which one we're about to eat. Mmm. Fibers. So mm. good. Or if you want to play the game in a much more relaxed setting. You can just turn hunger and sleep off entirely. Don't worry, oh, though. We can still eat those fibers. It's just all for pleasure now. Anyway, let's go <laughs> check out whatever this thing is. <laughs> Now, I don't know how I feel about the part where it turns to stare at you, but at least we can get a basic understanding of what this means. Right now, this thing is at zero out of 350 what does it of do? these things, which happen to be these things that I have. And after all the resource slapping of... I've done, I have 6,032 of them. And looking over at this main thing, we have the option to expand the biome. Don't mind if I do. Uh... Yeehaw. Okay, let's see. Where is this? Oh, hello, Ooh, new biome. Sad. Let's have some celebratory fibers. Mmm. Okay, let's go over here and see what we got. So far, it looks <laughs> like we have a lot of sand. Wait. I stand corrected. Oh my god, is that a, a turtle? turtle? Oh my goodness, Aww. it's so adorable. Don't worry, it's little so guy. I won't let anything happen be. to you. Unless I can click on you. Can I click on you? <gasps> oh. Well, hey, 52 he points is 52 it to points. Death. And some free meat. Thank you. I guess it's all Monster. free after they're dead. Oh my god, even worse than that. Not only can we attack them, but we can steal their turtle shell. I'll be taking that. Oh, Thank that's you. Messed oh up. no, he's naked now. <laughs> Oh, he got Aww. away. Consider yourself lucky. Anyway, so here we are on a new island. New things to punch like mounds it. of sand. <laughs> Not to mention these fancy floating books. So cool. Tell me more. Oh, you're really gonna tell me more. I'm glad it's called informative, especially since I'm not gonna read it. And because this game is consistent, the way you take in this knowledge is, of course, you keep smacking the book until the information uh, is now inside you. Well, thank God I'm hungry course. for knowledge now because there's another book. What knowledge. do you got for me? Wallop reduces objects health by 8%. What do we mean by objects? Like these things? Things? Sure, sounds good to me. Oh, also, nice. my god, why is it nighttime so much in this game? I guess I should examine the build menu at this point. We've got all kinds of stuff like utilities and production. We have so much more to the game. A sweaty book, machinery, or as I like to call it, the settings icon. And finally, <laughs> base, where we have my favorite new item decorations like a bed, which as you yeah. can see, I haven't unlocked yet, but we'll get Wait, there soon, I'm crafting. sure. Good For good now, craft. we're going to start over here in production, where we can make mm. the ever important workbench. Okay, let's see. Where do we want to put this? Hey, hey, you! I see you He's right back. there. No! Ah, much better. Anyway, where was oh. I? Oh, right. Workbench. Ooh, Dude, tools. Stuff. Now we don't have to use our fists of fury anymore. Now that we can chop things, and hack at things, and slay things, and dig things. Couldn't be more Sweet. simple. I gotta like wait really 10 seconds. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with myself in the meantime. And there's no hyper-aggressive turtles for me to defend myself against. Oh, it's done. We'll microwave. just craft that and wait, <laughs> wait the what? excruciating 10 seconds and rinse and repeat. And now we have all kinds nice. of new fun toys. Let's test out Lots the flint, flint sword. Stuff. Hello, cow friends. Yep, oh. works as intended. Works on trees, too. I'm assuming the idea uh -huh. is that if you use the proper tool for the proper job, for example, the axe on this just tree, like it'll chop even faster. And yeah, that's definitely the case. But I'm too is lazy it? to switch back and forth every time I want to chop or dig or whatever. Gone. Until we come up with something better, I'll just default to the sword for everything. So we can wow, feel true. big and strong. Anyway, it's time to work on the next thing we're going to build. Specifically, this research table. I bet that's where all the fun uh, unlocks are. Ah, uh, yes, there yeah. we go. The whole one thing we can research right now. Where's the, the furnace. 
allows you to smelt ores and forge other types of objects. And then the Sweet. table bounces with excitement until it explodes forth with knowledge. Ah, here we go. It's opened up to more stuff. Look at that. All kinds of essentials like a sleeping bag and a spinning wheel. That furnace is looking hella like the Minecraft furnace. And an anvil. And a mailbox. It a allows mailbox? you to read really important letters. Well, we'll see about that what? in a millennia when you're done researching. I okay, I can't wait that long. We're making more tables. So ah, that's much better. It's that's like unique. crappy that's Fantasia unique. in here. And there we go. All the tables have shot me full of knowledge. We're going to start with building mm. a sleeping bag because God, knowledge. am I tired of seeing nighttime. Oh, I can't put this on the water. Okay, second best oh, then. What? We're going to sleep up here with all the rocks. <laughs> Night. <laughs> Sorry, I just want to even say water again. Time. Oh, I can't put this on the water. Okay, second water. best then. We're gonna sleep up here with all the rocks. <laughs> Nighty night. Oh, and it turns out if you don't do anything, water. you just keep sleeping. That's gonna be a sound alert. Forever. Oh, so peacefully. Oh, right, I gotta hit the giant button that says wake up. Okay, great. Just me and these cows staring at me. Okay, now I really water. wanna find out about this letterbox, which means first we need to make a furnace, which I'm gonna put all crappy just like that. Okay, and what we want is a copper ingot. Let's make five of them, I guess. God, it takes 15 seconds for each mm. one. Whoa. And with our copper ingots finally <laughs> done, it's time at last for the mailbox, which I still don't really understand how this is going to work, but I'm excited to learn. I'm sure it's going to come in real handy, you know, on this island in the middle it, of nowhere. I guess we'll just sit here and wait until we get like, mail, even if it takes how all does it night. Get you there? Oh, hey, there we go. In the early dawn hours, we got some mail. Discreetly delivered by a ghost. Oh, boy, I can't wait to read this letter. You were an accident. Very wow, good. game. Why would you say such things to me? I'm just kidding. That's not what it said. It actually said your new life begins here. Try not to overthink it, it and everything will go smoother. Sagely uh, advice. I can imagine Gandalf saying either of these. Thank and you. that was all the mail we had. Really glad mail we did that. Well, and with that out of the way, let's go ahead and do some more building. And by that, I mean, let's build all the stuff we don't already have. And yes, everything here is going to take handle? some bricks. Which we can do over it's here in the frozen. furnace, which is just coal, stone, and sand. Thank goodness we have a lot of those. And while we wait for this excruciating 20 seconds of brick, we'll just collect more resources and wail on the local population. Stop oh good, it. I think it's finally done. Leave Thank you for my alone. 15 bricks. Time to go build crazy. An anvil there, a spinning wheel here, an advanced workbench right there. Out of the way, Rock, we need to put so a magic organized. thingy right it. there. I gotta be oh, honest, under the table. machinery option, I'm really curious what this thing is. It's because like it says deforest. And then it has two ominous silhouettes. Wait, Ooh. figured out what it is. It's these two things I haven't researched yet. It looks like we've what got this red one, the slayer of all things, slays nearby creatures and catches bugs. Of oh, course we're wow. gonna research this. And the other thingy, this yellow one, is the breaker. Breaks nearby resources. Things are getting good because okay. we're seeing a little bit of automation. Oh, and while we're so it's like an auto clicker, but in game auto clicker. So it'll do all the things for Here, you. We'll research this other last thing: the cave entrance. The entrance to your personal cave, where rare minerals and ores appear more frequently. Oh, how excited uh... I am to show the entire world my personal cave! And with these things ready to go, let's try them out. As soon as we make some glass, it's always something, isn't it? It's always twenty seconds, <laughs> isn't it? Stop right there! <laughs> I found the answer to our problems. Here in the anvil, we have access to better, faster tools. I didn't think the guy that takes his time to do things would be worried by time or annoyed by time. That that is that well, is. But more importantly, this ring allows you to reduce lift. crafting time by clicking structures by negative five percent. Give me this ring and give me it now. I've never been so excited in all my <laughs> life. Okay, it's done. Finger. Let's try it out. Hello, you. I would like to It'll now like accelerate 10. crafting by clicking as fast as I can. Now we're talking. Christmas has come early. You mean Woo. to tell me now, anytime I want to build anything, like let's say I want twenty copper ingots, instead of waiting the whole 15 seconds. I can just click to perfection. I can deal with this. Oh my god, it works here too. It's so easy to get anything done now. And now that we've got these fancy new copper tools, we can be bashing and grabbing even faster. But I think we have enough, so now it's time to slay and break. Okay, so it looks like these things have a radius, oh, okay. so we'll just go ahead and put one right over here. Yeah, oh yeah, we can already see it doing its thing. So efficient. Uh, and we'll it's kind of slow here, though. As well Is there as an up here. Not to mention one right next to my bed. Right next have to my you face. Still got here and here and we'll do the same thing for the red ones so that it can dispatch everything that Not lives that yes there we go that's much better what a technological still got marvel it. it's just me and my killing annoying. machines now hey you butterfly this is a no fly zone and we'll just let this run <laughs> all night and then that. you go around and you pick up all your goods and it's like a mystery box of exciting stuff you never know what you're gonna pick up and also because it you gain efficient. points every time you destroy something that keeps happening automatically feels wow. good it's not a perfect system though you still have to pick 
pick everything up by hand, and I think it despawns hey, over time. And I also, said. these <laughs> things won't run forever. As you can see, they have a limited charge, and you have to manually go up and uh, charge suck. them. I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's pretty easy to do. Oh, I mentioned if we go back over here to our <laughs> inscription table, there's a couple of fun things we can craft here. Mainly, this glass orb generates 15 mm -hmm. credits every five seconds, and it just so happens I have all the materials for that now. Well, sign oh, me up. Of course, we want more ways to make this go faster. There's even a version of this for when you're not playing. Earn 0.5 oh, credits oh, per second while you're offline. Don't mind if wow. I do. Okay, well, now we have to know. If I exit out of the game, set my PC's clock to 12 hours later than it is, and then fire Ooh, the game back cheetah. up. <laughs> Ah, I see. We've gained 14,400 credits. Wonderful. You probably monster. time to come back to this thing and do some upgrading. You only need 800? I feel like I can probably afford that. So 37 here you go. And it looks like that buys us even more islands. More minerals. New skill until, books. Wait, what's and of course, the limit? I can do all these by hand, but I think you know what's going to happen. That's why this beautiful down. serene island turns into our technological yeah. paradise. Yeah, do everything for I me. Like and let's That's go over here and unlock another <laughs> tier. And that leads to a new island. Where is it? S oh, oh there several it is. hours later, please. I want to see. By the this point, big, I'm sure you know the big. drill. Find a new book, assimilate yep. it into your face. Find the mm -hmm. next book, be excited by its secrets. Switch it to the correct tool automatically. I gotta see this in action. <laughs> well, it's every bit as exciting as you hope it would be. Running around, hitting different stuff, and watching your tool set just automatically switch on its own. I mean, I'm sure it's it would be now, exciting well. if we still collected things the old-fashioned way. Nothing makes the nighttime more festive than colors of ketchup and mustard. And I guess <laughs> this is our life now. We just come back to this thing. Feed it more beautiful resources. What Excited is the limit, to go Josh? check out the new island. Smash Tell my me. face into all this knowledge. Cover it in these know. things. And collecting oh so many resources. Before coming back over here and no more upgrades, huh? Well, I didn't see that coming. Luckily, Whoa. we can still upgrade these little guys. Like this one wants three I leather, hate that. which amazingly we don't have. This sounds it's so, like, spoiled with me as a gamer. I hate when there's limitations in games. It's like a job That's for the spinning wheel. Oh, no. uh, yeah, there we go. Feels good no, to do I'm some upset. manual smacking once in a while. Okay, and now we can give it three leather. And it looks like that gives us more credits. But more oh, importantly, no. as we fulfill all of these little needs Butterfly? here, of which we very easily have all the rest of the supplies. Except, oh, wait, wow. do I have 150 wood? Do of I ever? You do. Here you go, have <laughs> this. The column entirely disappears. And that's when a new planet. island appears. A considerable oh. distance away, too. How'd you get well, to that? swim our way over oh, there. We got skill books to collect. Oh, and there's the column thingy <gasps> now. Demanding more credits. In addition to this, it looks like we have all new mm. items, like this beetroot, not to mention oh. this wheat, as well as this exact... My dumb brain said, oh, is that a dog? All new items, like this beetroot, <laughs> not to mention this wheat, as well as this exotic rock. How exciting. Oh, and also, good oh, news. Yes. We have more mail. Let's see what it says. Dr. Pepper is a D-tier soda. Gandalf. Yeah, you tell him, Gandalf. Uh, Bro, I had a Dr. Pepper today. They're, they're all right. I wouldn't say they're D tier. I would say C tier. It's such a pain going back and forth. Such a trial to go from island to island. But luckily, I found a solution for this. See, no, over B here tier, in the B key tier, bindings, B tier, B tier, I noticed B tier. one thing in particular that I found interesting, and that's unstuck player that's bound currently to the F2 key. And here's basically what, what it does. That mean? If you hit that button, you get shifted forward a little bit. Now, obviously, okay. this is supposed to be so if you get stuck, the game can force you forward hey, a little bit and help get you out of whatever it, you're right? stuck. On. Or we could take that command, attach it to another script, so that it tries oh, to push F2 gonna every fly. millisecond. And here's the results of that. He's gonna fly. Ah, oh, yeah. Holy that was great. If we get up somewhere nice and high, get a running jump, and then turn it on. Look at that. We can just jettison He's our way over cannon. there. And look, I know that this isn't cannon supposed jump. to be like an actual feature, but why not? They're gonna make it a feature. That is ingenious, by the way. Not use it when... He should be a game designer. We need it. It's... Not a game designer, a game idea designer. So a game convenient. tester. Oh, actually, which he is. you know what? Now I'm super curious to something. You remember how when we okay. first started, we oh, tried to go out to the edge of the world and then we yeah. fell off? Well, let's head back You're out there again because I have an idea. There. Okay, so I think we're kind of a ways out now. I know what looking he's thinking. pretty small. And as you can see, when we fall off the level, there's all these other structures that I'm assuming are the oh. things that we can summon later. But obviously, oh. we can't reach those before we get spawned back into the level. But what about if we walk all the way out to the edge, wait until we fall off, and then hyperspeed our way back over to the structures? Can we make it? There's only one way to know for sure. Oh, Wait, yeah, that's an absolute yes. Solid base. Yes, we can. Yep. And here oh, we are in our version of the upside the down. Sure is. I wondered how he was going to break the game. I didn't think it'd be this way. Wow.
So now what they've got to do is make it so it's you're not able to fly over. You've got to just go straight down and, and respawn up top. Noisy down here. He's, this is he's obviously making them the have land more that work. we'll eventually get. As soon as we pay for it, it's going to fly up into the sky and join that little piece right there. And it doesn't really look like there's much we can do down here. There's no resources to speak of. But I did notice nah. something else, which is that we can indeed place stuff down here. And so now I'm super curious. When we summon this piece of land by paying for it and it flies up there, is this going to stay here or go with it? Well, I guess there's Good only question. one way to find out, isn't there? And we'll also mm, check true. out this thing soon. As soon as we <laughs> test this out first. Okay, here goes nothing. Boom. Oh, it stayed down <laughs> well, there? Well, now we know. Anyway, let's head back down here and see what that other structure is. It looks like a hashtag. Or maybe a... Mm -hmm. Huh? If you're reading this, you should know that there is a prize. One that many people have asked me for. I don't know why. Prizes? I love what? prizes. But I'm also far more concerned about what this thing is at all. It appears to be yeah. walls on all sides. Although there Looks is like a little thing we can stand on right here. And now we're going to force ourselves through the wall with our hyper speed. Oh, uh, where are you we? Exit cave. Monster. Oh, you know what? I bet this is our... Our personal cave. You know, the one we never oh. built an entrance for. Wait, what happens oh. if we exit and there's no entrance? Only one way to find out. Oh, it just places us here in the water, in familiar oh, territory. Okay. And let's see if that really was our personal cave. Down we go. Ah, uh, yep, here we are. Oh. Down here again. Something I did notice while we're down here is our option to build by pushing Q is actually not allowed. If I oh. try to do it, it just makes this noise. So now I've got a so he's got to go out, fly down, fly across, go back in, sport, uh, make his way into there, Question. and then he'd be able to if we go back to the him. overworld, speed our way over to oh, the edge, and back I just down said, the cave the old-fashioned way. Shut Forcefully shove yourself through the side. Well, the and option is build? lit up. Yep. Can we build now? Oh, happy day. He's well, we gotta see what happens now, right? If we build a cave entrance inside of our personal cave. I know I want to know. <laughs> it's going to be an endless down loop. We go. It's going to be an endless loop. Well, yep. it just brings you back down. And you can just yeah, keep doing this. Yeah, that's crazy. Over and over and over again. I'm glad we've made this for ourselves. Well, I'm just going to leave that right there and we're going. But if he goes back up, will he go back to the surface? Or will he end up back in that room because he's been down, down? On back up. Huh? What? What? Yeah, he's in, he's in the loop, so if you go down, you've got to go up the same amount of times you went down. He's made unlimited Where am I? I'm rooms. back in the air quote other cave. The one with a yep. lot of water noise and the one where mm -hmm. I can build again. And it looks yep. like trying to climb out is infinite. You just keep appearing in the same cave. Wait, what happens when I build another entrance? So that Dude, now there's two entrances. When I head happen. up this, where does it take me? Somewhere in back between, surface, got it. Right? Well, I'm glad we've created this weird paradox. And unfortunately, <laughs> the resources are the same. Like if I broke uh, that copper deposit, and then I head back down to the other cave. The copper deposit, the copper deposit is deposit also is gone. gone from here. Uh, but the good yeah. news is okay. up in our buildy cave is we can put our lovely buttons down <laughs> so that it continues to oh. do all the work for us. And that's all we could really ask for, right? That we were able Cheetah. to build stuff where we're not supposed to. And if we yep. ever need to get out of here, well, we can always take the front door, also known as one of these walls, and then just fall then until we end up back sport. in the real world. He ah, is couldn't be more simple. Genius. And if we ever need to go back down to the Forbidden Realm, we just climb down one, and then climb down again, and then climb back up one and here we are again back in water <gasps> world where building is what? always allowed you can actually break the world the opposite direction too if you go back down into the quiet cave and then break out of the level and teleport back to the surface everything's yeah. a little bit weird all the sound Ooh. effects now have an echo like you're still in the cave and all the colors are all sorts of off it's kind of like you're in a hell? stephen king novel but as far as i can tell everything else is still functional it just looks very very strange oh my and the fun God. doesn't stop there either if we head back down into the cave we can turn this cave into even more alternate dimensions. Here, let me show you what I mean. So out what here on the, the surface, hell? this is the beginning biome. And over here on yeah. our left is the other biome we're slowly unlocking. And they all uh -huh. have different names and everything. Like this one is called Amber Path. And if we head back over to the original one, it's called Grasslands. Grasslands. Now, if we're standing over here in Grasslands, and then we hop down into Grasslands. our cave, everything is exactly as we left it. Mailbox and yellow okay. things. But if instead of entering the cave here, we hop on back over to Amber Path, and find a, a nice here. little spot to put down another one of these trap doors. And then we cave? head down from here. Well, isn't that something? The mailbox is uh, gone. The yellow things are gone. Even the trap. Different cave, different biome. Got the it. doors are gone. So what happened, you may wonder? Well, as far as I can tell, it's because when you're on one biome, everything, of course, spawns here. But it also means that everything else on the other island stops spawning. It just looks uh. barren like this. And likewise, if we hop back over to the other biome, everything pops mm -hmm. back in, and this island is empty. So I think yeah, the game just biome, compartmentalizes what can spawn and when. But what that also mm -hmm. means is if I head back over here to Amber Path, and then speed off to the edge of the world, and head back down to our personal cave this way, it 
means that I can build other stuff here and have two cave setups, which is good because there's some new research options that can help us unlock some fun new stuff. Specifically, this Such quadrant as... right over here. Like the... What was that? It looked like a shark cage. You know the cage they go into to see sharks? Look at that. Some Imagine fun new that. stuff. Specifically, this quadrant yeah. right over here. Shark like cage. the mill that allows you to turn some plants into ingredients. And that'll go hand in hand with another thing. A small crop plot lets you grow plants. You can probably see where this is going, right? Let's get these troublesome minerals out of the way. We want this space to be nice there. and clear for us. So that we can lay out our crop plots. Obviously, this is the most premium place to grow plants. There we go. No, we no, did no, it. No. It looks so even and amazing. I hate it. I really hate it. Why has he done this? He's he's a monster. He is a monster in human form. And to get some seeds, we're gonna have to make this thing. The mill. Which we've kind of run out of space, but hopefully we can put it right. Yeah, that seems good. And inside Sweet. the mill, we can make stuff like flour and sugar. But of course, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna make this seeds. This game's complex, you know. I thought it'd be kind of basic, here, but it's actually kind of there, complex. And here. And there we go. A nice, exciting bunch of seedlings. And now for the big question. Will this actually work? You know, with this ample supply of sunlight. I guess we'll see. <laughs> Well, I guess oh. there's our answer. And wow, does hey. it ever grow quickly? I've been standing here all of five minutes and everything is full bloom now. Oh, and in case you were Sick. wondering, if we do approach it from the other biome, yes, indeed, none of these plants are here. But they are no, definitely there biome, if we enter cave. from this one. My God, are they ever here. So I guess this it's is beautiful. our garden cave. Oh, and you know what else is available to unlock now? This thing that's very valuable to us. The design investigation it? table. Allows you to unlock new decorations and parts of builds. Ooh. I like the sound of that. Finally, the thing we've always he's been waiting for. Stuff like floors and walls. Okay, let's, let's see how these work. Yep, just he's like you think they would. It. Build yourself a foundation, and then you can go ahead and build other stuff on top of it. On the other he's hand, I noticed that it doesn't like to build foundations unless it's firmly on the ground like this. Okay. You can't just what put them the right ocean? on the water though. And I'm okay. sure the entire idea is that we can go all the way to the bridge. edge of the map with these two, right? I mean, I don't know if that's what we're supposed to do, but it's definitely what we're gonna oh. do. After all, what's really gonna happen? There's gonna be a block oh, looks limit. Looks like we yep. found the end because it won't let me build any farther. Yep, seems yep. about right. And super easy to test. If we just step off, see? Confirmed. But never fear. It turns okay. out there's a way we can get past this limit. So as before, we can't build out any further than this. But if you position yeah. things just right, you can build the foundations on the foundations like this. So now there's a foundation on top of that foundation. Oh, we're, we're and if I use my gentlemen. auto clicker and I position myself just right, we can start building farther than we're supposed to. See, look, here's oh, where we started. God. And here's the mess I've made so far. But luckily, nice. I'm getting the hang of this better. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to build this out for a bit and we'll see how it goes. Okay. Three hours? Okay, so I've been doing this for quite a while. Several hours, in fact. I've noticed this game has a build limit, though. So he's going to turn around and he's not going to be able to see his work because it has, like, a radius limit. And I think this is probably about as far as we need to go. Allow me to demonstrate all the way back at the beginning. You want to see just how see, far look. this goes? Do you see the radius limit? It's right there. Well, I'll show you. So after this initial hitch, I figured out how to make them a little more streamlined. So now it's just nice. like going up steps forever. And say goodbye yeah. to the island because we're not going to be seeing it for a while. Here, let's turn on <laughs> hyperspeed and save us some time. So anyway, this keeps Sweet. going and going and going. You can also see the water line oh getting a little closer to us. God. See, look at that. The water line seems to be stopping it's at a point. If I stop it for just a map. second, we can see that the water line actually just kind of stops. But that's not going to stop us until we finally reached as far as we've built. Oh as I God. look off at the side and see the moon setting the moon with no planet underneath floor? us, I think we can conclude that there's no limit to this. Also, being out this far has some fun side effects. When I move around, the UI elements are a little bit, um, let's say Ooh, nervous. Shaky. Like, the further <laughs> out I was getting, the more jittery they oh were getting. God. Like, they just don't like being out They're this like, far. No. I don't know, I kind of like it. Stop. Having everything feel like it's melting. But hey, while we're up here, let's put a nice little viewing space. That way we can really Sweet. enjoy the view. You know, all the way here at the end of time. That said, I have another idea for how we can launch ourselves even farther and in less time too here i'll demonstrate down here what i'm talking about so if you lay down here in bed you only have so many options mostly just mm -hmm. watching as time passes you by or you can click the big button that says wake up and when you do that of course yeah. your guy stands up but i've learned that while you're sleeping you can activate the player unstuck button and try as you might the game doesn't let you leave the bed and if i turn off my little script here you get rubber banded back but while it's oh. doing this it's actually building up each one of these commands and it's going to execute oh. all these player unstuck commands all at once the so moment i hit Wake, wake up. up. Here, let me show you. He's gonna launch. See how that launched me? Like, so far away, I can't see anything around me anymore That's before crazy. it brings me back to home base. And that was just like 20 seconds of doing that. I'm so that's why he put it up there with the bed. He's going to launch himself off of the map, off of the map. So he's going to be beyond anyone's reach. Imagine what this would look like if he charged it up for several minutes. Well, I just did that, so let's see. 
Oh, <laughs> and look, since we're launched out so far, we're seeing some of that jittery UI stuff again. Mm -hmm. And then it sets us back down. So let's see how much speed we can build up if we uh, charge it for a the lot windows, longer. Bro. Okay, I've let the game sit here, constantly trying to shove forward for an hour now. I can't even begin to tell you what kind of charge this has now, but let's give it a shot and see how far out we go. Oh my god, look at the shakiness oh on the screen. Oh my! Well, oh, that broke, sure is something, it. isn't it? I think we're out on the farthest edges of time and space. Oh Call my it a hunch, god. but I think things aren't quite normal over here. <laughs> Love watching the UI try to make sense of all of this. Not to mention the version number in the bottom right corner. <laughs> and as we hear the noises of rain, I think we're eventually going to end up right back where we started. Ugh. Ah, here we are, safe and sound. Well, that That's sure was sick, something. Though. I don't know about you, but I want to be chasing that. That's kind of cool because they thought about it and they're like, uh, even if you fall from up, no matter where you are, you'll still end up in the same spot. Hi, the rest of this so game tried now. Breaking yeah, it. we could be doing stuff back at the but islands. But what the hey? We're going to be getting passive income anyway. Apart from the breaking into the cave. So we stuff. can come back to that anytime. I want to thank Opera GX Sick. again for sponsoring this video. Check out my linky in the description to download it Good for yourself. Video. So I hope you had fun. I know I did. And I'll see you sure next did, buddy. time. Boggers! Make sure to check out the original video in the description down below. Support this YouTuber and every YouTuber you like. I'll see you in the next one. Laters!